So I wanted to do a video about gang stalking, and it's going to be a little bit different than most people on YouTube's videos on gang stalking in the sense that I believe it actually exists, and I believe I might actually be a victim of it. Many months ago, about a, about a year and a half ago, people on Facebook had started uh, friend requesting me, and I'll accept anybody's friend request usually, and they were telling me that I was a victim of gang stalking on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook, on YouTube here, which is the uh, the people commenting on my videos like Chimichanga Chimmy and It's Time for Your Pill Gringo, which explains the ridiculously fake names. Now, what's funny is, over a year, well, yeah, about a year ago, or it's, no, it's about, yeah, about a year ago, I would go for a morning walk for about an hour every morning, last October. And I'd be followed by cars. And I just assumed at the time I was having an issue with my former employer. So I had just assumed, and I'm not saying it's not my former employer, because I think it might be. Um, they'll have cars follow you. At the time, I had assumed it was just a private investigator or something they were having to break my balls. That's what I thought, because I'm sane, and that's what I thought. Um... So, I would go for walks, and cars would park and wait at, his, at the same corner every morning. And I was assuming, you know, it's a private investigator, some kid getting their, you know, somebody getting their kid from school, what have you. Or they'd park at the park and wait there, and they'd write stuff down. Which is odd, because not many people write stuff down in this day and age of cell phones. And they'd take pictures of me. And I would assume that's what made me assume it was a private investigator. Why would somebody take pictures of me unless they're a private investigator? Because it's not, in my mind, normal people don't do things like this. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not doing anything incriminating or weird, so let them take pictures. I'm not a private person. I don't care. As I said, I'll accept anybody's friend request on Facebook. So a lot of people kept telling me I was a victim of gang stalking, what have you. And then the other day, there was a, um, a lady on YouTube that responded to Chimichanga Chimmy explaining that there were laws against this and that, you know, this is gang stalking. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'm going to look back into gang stalking. I already did. It sounded nuts because a lot of the links are nuts. A lot of the people that believe they're being gang stalked are absolutely insane. But that's one of the goals of gang stalking is to drive the person insane. Interestingly enough, the more I knew... Uh, I moved into my apartment uh, last October, and somebody had stolen, and this is no joke, somebody had stolen a thing of popping corn, like that you would make popcorn with. So I went to my, and I didn't immediately um, do anything, because I'm not like that. I'll just, you know, in my view, I'll defend my property if somebody comes in my door. So a couple more times... Things had been moved and taken. Um, a DVD player with some uh, pornographic movies had been taken from my apartment and put back where it was. And I'm like, ah, maybe I'm nuts. Maybe I just misplaced it. But then a couple days later, a woman, because what I would do is I would leave for the day and come back. Well, this day I didn't leave. And this woman... Uh, tried to open my door with a key to my apartment. And this is one of the things that gang stalkers do is they gain access to apartments. So I'm, I was home, so I answered the door, and I'm like, who the hell are you? Because they were trying to open my door with a key. So I assumed former tenant, you know. I go to the office, and at first the uh, the young lady in the office thought it was her cleaning lady. Uh, she, she was Hispanic. My The cleaning lady is Hispanic. And she goes, maybe it was my cleaning lady. And she goes, did she look Spanish-y? <laughs> and I go, no, this was a white chick with a key to my apartment. And then she goes, well, you don't, and this is, I'm quoting the girl that, you know, the girl that was the uh, leasing agent. She goes, well, you don't have any white neighbors. And I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> so I don't know. So then they changed the key, the lock to my, um, you know, they changed my lock and what have you. That stopped. But it is interesting. It gets to higher and higher levels. There was a gentleman that called himself Russian Robot that was harassing me and actually harassing my friend from Argentina, uh, calling her all sorts of racial epithets and things of that nature. And he was posing, posing as an alt writer. Uh, and then he was mad at me that I was pretending to be a actual, like, a, a national socialist. At the time, I was, you know. But this is the stuff that was going on as it was building up. 
And it's, uh, it also explains why my friend from Argentina might be ignoring me and blocking me and things like that after being so adamant that she didn't know these people. But it also explains why they know things about her, because they could be people in her life that have been turned on to this. It's a very interesting thing, and I do believe I'm a victim of this. I also believe I know who's responsible. The problem is, if you're driving me nuts, it takes a lot to drive me nuts. I don't really care. I'm very physically capable. Uh, and, but with the guy with Russian robot, that's when he, att he attempted to threaten to swat me. And I didn't know what swatting was because I'm not an 11-year-old kid. And then my, uh, at the time, my ex-girlfriend's son, who's, uh, he just turned, oh, 20-ish or 21-ish, something like that. I don't know when he was born. But he explained to me what swatting was. It's this thing that video gamers do to um, basically call the police on somebody and have the police murder the person. And uh, it's very interesting, very interesting. Um, and I, I obviously, I, I wouldn't believe this if I didn't see the things happening with myself, uh, with my own eyes, and put it together myself. Um, obviously, I just woke up, but the goal is to make the person look crazy. I already look crazy, so you can't really make me look crazier. But um, if this is the case, it's very bizarre. Uh, that I would be targeted, except for the fact that my former employee or uh, my former employer very much dislikes me for whistleblowing, which is one of the things that as a targeted individual is whistleblowing. Uh, of course, they're not going to stop me from saying anything. And, and in fact, they'll just make me say more and get more vocal <laughs> because that's my character and I don't care. And the thing is, if people think they're going to physically intimidate me, that's the other thing, the physical intimidation that took place, where my, uh, my ex-girlfriend uh, visited it and was at a food bank. Uh, so my ex-girlfriend was there while the person that was responsible for having me fired at my job years ago tried to physically intimidate me, but he's a little bitch. And that's what's funny is my ex-girlfriend, so I just kept my head turned and I didn't, I ignored that he was like a centimeter away from the back of my neck and I could feel his breath on the back of my neck. He was trying to get me to react. And that's one of the things that these people do, but I have a witness to that, which is my ex-girlfriend. So it's very interesting. It also explains how people from Argentina knew things about my personal life that happened here, if they're even from Argentina, but they also know per things about my friend's personal life, which is interesting, because they might have been people from her personal life lured into this or paid to do this or something like that. And it sounds absolutely insane, but it's all plausible. And the reason it's plausible is because this is what people do. After working in mental health, I wouldn't believe things like this really were possible. But the thing is, after seeing some of the people I worked with and things like that, yeah, I think... This is very plausible, um, and I'd like to thank the person that commented in my video, who I thought was crazy, by the way, because I subscribed to her channel, and then she thought I was I was secretly stalking her or something. But no, 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 I wasn't. I just unfollowed her. Uh, of course, she probably was a victim of this, or a perceive, or she perceives herself to be a victim of this. That's the problem. This is the perfect thing for paranoid people to be paranoid. Because it fits in. It's for people looking for patterns and things. It allows them to put these patterns together. It's a schizophrenic dream. But the fact of the matter is, it seems to be very real in the same sense. Very real. Especially with the thing with my apartment, the car following me, stuff like that. And uh, that's, it's very interesting. Very interesting.